Hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do a Sagittarius Love Prediction Reading for July, excuse me, 29th through August 4th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it. Leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my fiery impulsive spontaneous fun kind loving sagittarius show me spirit guys what's going on my sagittarius show me spirit guys what's going on my sagittarius let's see sagittarius what you got going on the star card page of wands the Magician, Five of Cups, and the King of Swords. Jeez. Oh, sad, 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 sad. Who's this person that's in your love space? The Star card is here. The Star card is leading your reading. That's, it's one of my favorite cards, but the Star card is the, it can represent an Aquarius sun sign, but the Star card is about wishes coming true dreams coming true um just magic just everything this whole reading to me is about wanting something but it doesn't want you being very honest um uh, <laughs> the star card is just it is about wishes and dreams and hopes you know wishes dreams coming true there's a page of wands that's in here um in the middle of this uh, well excuse me next to the star card the page of wands is here and that's someone that's very free spirited this is someone that you want though you know, this is someone that you want, but, and I'm not saying he doesn't want you. I'm just saying he's still out there. He just does his own thing. He beats to a tune of a dis different drum, I think. And, and when I say that, um, he's, he is also, he's spontaneous. He does all of those. He likes to learn. He likes to do all of those things, but it's very hard to pin down a page of wands because when I say pin him down, I don't mean it like that. Not pin him down, but you know, he's, he's, he's a free spirited person. He's a lot like you, though. He's a lot like you, but I, and I, I'm going to tell you what I think here. I think you've met your match. I'm being very honest. This person is a page of wands energy. He likes to learn. He likes to do different things. He's a lot like you. It's almost like you've met your match. Here's a magician card that's in the middle of the reading. And that's the manifestation card. That's like asking the universe for it, you know, praying about it, meditating, whatever you do. That magician card's in the middle of the read. And that's what is happening because you really are. And you really want this person because you see that he's a lot like you. But I see the five of cups there. He's not, he's, yeah, you're not going to have him. I'm being very honest. Five of cups here. There's three cups, three flowers of this card. It's, there's three flowers. And the three flowers are in the water. And they're down, you know, that they're down. And that's the commitment card. And I mean, excuse me, the commitment flower. I'm going to be very honest. Uh, wanting to be with one person flower. Uh, just wanting to um, be with only you person, one, a flower. You know, I just think that those are the three things. That I'm just, those are just things that I'm thinking that are not for this relationship. Because, the, but there's two cut, two flowers still you have. And those two flowers are you. What you, what you have. How you can find a different love. Because this love here. Is not one that's committed, not one that wants to be with one person. Now, you can definitely be his friend because he's spontaneous. You have fun with him, all of that. But as far as a mate, I don't see that. And then I see this King of Swords, which lets me know even more. He has that King of Swords uh, energy. And that King of Swords can represent a, um air sign. Um, it can be an, um, a, a Libra. It could be a Gemini, um, uh, as well as, I think, an Aries an Aries, no, excuse me, Aries is a fire sign. Let me see. It's, it can be a, a king of swords is an, a Libra, an Aquarius, or a Gemini. A Libra, an Aquarius, or a Gemini. Um, and this person, whoever he is, he's very um, rational. He doesn't love from his heart space. He loves from his head space. You have to be in his head. He's intelligent. 
You've got to be there. You, he doesn't, he doesn't, all the heart, it crying, all that doesn't work. You, he's got to love you from his head space. He's very rational. He does his own thing. He's about, um, he's, he, he loves, he looks at you from the outside. He looks at things from the outside rather than the end. Um, he, I mean, he's just, he's very rational. He's very smart. He's very intelligent, but he also can become across as being cold because he does not really possess that innerness, if that inner love that you may have. He's missing that. He, he looks at things from the outside rather than from the inside. And whoever he is, he's breaking your heart because you feel depressed. You feel down. This five of cups, you just feel lost. And this is just lost. You feel like it's just not there. He does. And, and I'm going to honestly say, you really want this man because he's a lot like you. So give me three to five minutes. Let me clarify. Let me clarify the reading. Let me clarify to see what additional information the spirit guides want you to know. Show me, spirit guides, why is the star card here? Show me why the star card here is here. Show me, spirit guides, why is the star card here for my Sagittarius? The moon card. Moon card can represent a Pisces sun sign. Can be anything, anyone, but I'm just saying the moon card does represent Pisces sun sign. But the moon card is about um, illusions, illusions, <laughs> and, and, and betrayal, denial, all of that, confusion, all of that, all of that, all of that. Because you really, uh, this person, you may have thought he was one way, but he's really not. Just because he's a free spirit, because he kind of does his own thing. But I'm going to tell you, I think you've met your match. Because you've given this to other people. Now here, this person is doing the same thing back to you. I'm just being very honest. That's what I see here. Let's see why the Page of Wands is here. Show me, Spirit Guides. Five of Swords. Five of Swords. I'm telling you. Five of Swords. Conflict. Yeah, there's a conflict because he doesn't... He, he's not... You've met... All I can say is you've met your match. You've met your match. Same thing you've given. You've gotten it back. You've gotten it back. This man, you want to be with him. He's spontaneous. Um, five, uh, he, he's fun. He likes to, um, he's a free spirit though. He doesn't want to be in a commitment. Um, and that five of swords is, you know, it's just about conflict and you're having conflict with him. But swords energy is mental energy. You've got a lot of mental energy on this world with the king of swords and the five of swords. It's about mental energy. There's conflict within you and your mind because you know, it's almost like you see yourself. He mirrors you exactly how you were. You didn't want to be committed. You wanted you had your freedom loving. He's the same way. He's the same way. And this is a he's the exact same way. Let's see why this magician card is here in the middle of your reading. But the problem is, is that now you know you've met your match, and, and the thing is, is that you love him and you want to be with him. But, how, but, but I don't know what's going to happen. Let me see. Let me keep clarifying. Let's see. The Magician card. Show me why the Magician card is here. Show me. Two of Wands. Two of Wands. When I see the Two of Wands and it's over the magi Magician card, you're restless. You're very restless about this situation because guess why? You know, because the tables are turned. When you want something, you want it and you want it quickly. But now this is not happening. You're trying to manifest and the manifestation is not really working. The two of wands means, hey, it's just not working. Working. You're just trying to figure out. You've got everything, but you don't have him. You want to, you know, you want to build with him. You want to start a relationship here with him, but you don't have him like that. He's not, he's not interested in that. He's free. He wants to be free. He wants to be free. And like I said, you've met your match. The two of wands is like starting all over again. You're starting all over again because... He doesn't want the things that you want. Unfortunately, yeah, like I said, whatever you gave, you get you getting it back now. So let's see why the five of cups is here. Show me, spirit guys. Why is the five of cups here? Six of cups. You've known this man. Yeah, this is someone that you've known. This is someone, and when I say you've known him, let me say, let me say this. You may have known him, but also when I see the six of cups. This could be uh, nostalgia, and I'm going to see, the reason I say this is because I strongly believe whatever you've given, you're getting it back. And I think that this Six of Cups is saying that there's a, there, it was, it was coming back to you is the heartache that you've given to other people. With this Five of Cups, the, when you didn't want to be tied down, when you, you know, people you knew were loving you, that nostalgia is coming back to you. It's a, that's, it's coming, this, this heartache, this, this loss is coming back to you, and I, I just strongly believe that. This person that you love um, does not want what you want. And you're just, the universe is just paying it back in kind. 
It's just paying it back. I'm sorry, but that's just what I'm not even sorry. That's just life. We've all made mistakes. We've all flawed. But you're getting back what you, you know, because it's just coming back to you. I don't know how else to say it. So let's see why the King of Swords is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the King of Swords here? Show me spirit, guys. Three of Cups. Okay. Three of Cups is there. Celebration. A celebration. And it's over the King of Swords. So I'm going to be very honest. Perhaps this is going to turn out to your benefit. I think that um, you've learned the lesson. I think it could def definitely turn out to your benefit. He is a King of Swords. He's rationally, he's looked at this. And I do see a Three of Cups, which is a celebration. Which is a celebration, and perhaps you guys are going to get together. I, I kept reading, I'm telling you, perhaps this is, you're going to get together, but I think the lesson has been learned, and I think that that is, that is it. This was your match. This is your match. Let's start at the very beginning. This, the um, star card here, this is represent Aquarius sun sign, and the moon card, there's illusions betrayal, deception, denial. The moon card is a Pisces sun sign, can represent Pisces. This person is just like you, Page of Wands, free spirit, loves to learn, loves to do spontaneous, all of that. But look, that five of swords is there. And the five of swords is there because, frankly, with you and this person, there's conflict, but this conflict source energy is mental energy. You're in conflict because he doesn't want to, you know, you've been freedom loving in the past. You've hurt people in the past because of your freedom. And this is what has come back to you. But here's a magician card here, which is manifestation. It's manifestation. You're trying to manifest him into your life with that two of wands there. You're saying, hey, I'm willing to start over. I'm willing to do what I want. You're restless. You're asking the universe to bring it to you now. It's taking time. It's not moving like you're, you're used to, you know, getting things how you want it and moving quickly. It's not. Here's this five of cups here, though. And it's over this six of cups. And when I see that five of cups, yes, it is lost. But more importantly, with that six of cups there, you may have known this person for a while. I'm going to say this. You may have known them for a while. But more importantly, I think that six of cups is saying whatever you have done in the past, it's nostalgic. It's coming back to you. But look, I'm going to tell you right up front. The king of swords here, he's very rational. He loves from his head rather than his heart. He's spontaneous, um, can be an Aquarius, can be a Libra, can be a Gemini. But this man has thought this through, and I see a Three of Cups, which is a celebration. So I'm going to tell you, you're going to get your heart's desire. Your manifestation's going to work. So let's see. Show me. Show me. Oh, oh look what came out. Recovery. Big happy changes. The situation will improve. Peaceful resolution. These are all coming out. All coming out absolutely they say compromise i think the compromise is is that you're going to just be patient and wait and you have waited you have waited um i also the last card that i'm going to pull is meditation brings answers meditation brings answers pray prayer works and i do believe you're going to have your relationship